Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking through why I chose Unity over Unreal despite in my last video on this saying that I was going with Unreal over Unity. So what's changed in the few months since I put up that video? Well in that video I said there was three reasons as to why I was choosing Unreal over Unity. One was mega scans. Two was that the game company I work for, uh, the game that they make is made in the Unreal Engine. And three, that the blueprints were a godsend. I then gave some advice about which engine I think you should choose if you're watching this. And that advice largely stands, and my problem is that I didn't uh, stick to my own advice. So that advice was that if you want to learn how to program and code, and you've got kind of no experience in doing that, and you want to start and learn how to code, uh, then choose Unity. And if you wanted to focus on level design, environment design, then go with Unreal Engine. And I think, yep, I'd, I'd still that is still my advice. Uh, and I fell into that first camp wanting to learn how to code, but because I'd already been doing stuff in Unreal Engine, um, and like I said, this the game company I work for, their game is made in Unreal, I thought I'd try and stick that out, and I'd use Blueprints uh, in the meantime to like prototype games, like make functional stuff, and then as a side to the Blueprints, use C++. But I didn't have that base knowledge that I feel like you need to go and learn C++. Like it's quite, quite a tricky language to learn. And in the end, blueprints were too much of a crutch for me because I, I could do stuff in blueprints, so why would I want to go figure it out in C++? Which is great if you don't want to know how to code and you just want to focus on making little games and having like nice looking levels, then yeah, Unreal is, is the way forward. But I, I want to learn how to program, so making these games was great in blueprint, but I wasn't learning how to program because I, I wasn't motivated to go do that. And the fact remains, there still just is not a lot of quality content out there for um, learning, like for self-teaching yourself Unreal Engine. Uh, their documentation is really lacking. They do have like an online learning portal, but it doesn't seem that structured. I've never really kind of got, got on with their learning portal. And if you have a problem and you search for an answer, uh, usually when you find an answer, it's people doing it in blueprints, not the code version of this, of the problem that you have. And when you do finally find someone having the same problem as you in code, the thread is kind of dead on the forum. It's just no one has replied and it's like 10 years old or whatever. Whereas with Unity, uh, their documentation is a lot better. They have quite a good learning platform and there's lots of YouTubers doing Unity stuff, whether that's 2D or 3D mobile games, like PC games. If you want to know about which YouTubers I'm kind of talk referring to, you can watch my last video because I kind of mentioned some of the bigger names there. I've even started up a tutorial series on this channel, uh, how to make a local co-op multiplayer game in Unity using its uh, new input system. And that's all code. Um, Unity does have a visual scripting element, but you have to like enable it separately. It's not built in. And I just, I've just not done that. I've just not touched it because I, d I didn't want the same thing to happen. And now Unity isn't the be all and end all. I haven't, I'm not a Unity evangelist now. Ultimately, I do want to go back to Unreal Engine once I've kind of got a good base knowledge of how to program in C Sharp, then I can kind of make the jump and try and learn C++. And the reason for that is kind of, as I said in my last video, that Unity doesn't look as nice out of the box. It's not as feature complete out of the box. Uh, you have to like use things like bolt on what you need. And that is kind of good because it means that the project sizes are very small because it doesn't come with all the bloat. But if there's, if you don't know that the tool is there for you to use and you don't know where to go and find it, it's kind of not just built into the engine. It's a bit hard to kind of, figure that stuff out. As an example, uh, Unreal Engine has like built in um, AI behavior tree kind of functionality inside the engine. Unity doesn't have anything like that at all. Uh, you ha I had to actually, to get that functionality, I had to go on the asset store and purchase it for like 30 euros. And that I think that was the sale price. I think it was like 70 euros. Uh, and not everyone has that kind of thing, but you don't need uh, AI behavior trees. You can do it all in code, but um, behavior trees are good. They're, they're very useful. As a comparison, the Unreal has things like that just built into it. Whereas Unity, yeah, you've got to go and buy that yourself. And Epic does continue to lead the way in the 3D art world. Uh, they've bought out ArtStation. Uh, they bought some photogrammetry software. I think it's Reality Labs, Capture Reality, something like that. I can't remember the name. There's Megascans, obviously. They've just released into beta their MetaHuman uh, human creation tool, which I've not had a chance to play with yet. I do want to have a go. But again, that looks amazing. And just a note on Megascans, kind of, it is, it's an amazing piece of software. You've got all of the photogrammetry assets. There's like PBR materials. But if you're trying to make a, a game and it's, maybe you've got like a game that's in a, a fantasy world, uh, it's great. You can go get the forest environment assets from Megascans. But at some point you're going to need to make something custom 
And you're gonna have to model something that they obviously don't photo scan. You're gonna have to like model something like fantastical for I'd, I'd, for example, like a plinth with runes, like a portal, just something fantasy. And then suddenly you don't they obviously because it isn't real, they've not photo scanned it. So then you'd have to make go and make that asset yourself to those photo real standards. Um which is doable, obviously, if you're an amazing artist. But for me, I'm not an amazing artist. Uh, I'm kind of trying to be a generalist. Uh, so I need to be a bit more real about my expectations. So if I want to go and make a game, Mega Scans won't really help me because I can't then go, I, I won't be able to match the artistic style kind of in the time frame and budget that obviously I would ever make anything. So it's something to know. But if you wanted to, but Mega Scans obviously is amazing if you're just interested in level design especially real life, like gritty uh, kind of urban environments, then yeah, it's great and it's free. Uh, but I just thought that was worth noting that Megascan seems amazing, but it does come with those caveats that if you want to use it for a game, you then have to match the quality of their assets, of your own assets. But yeah, there you have it. That's why I swapped over to Unity from Unreal. Which engine do you use? Uh, let me know in the comments below. It's interesting to see kind of what everyone is actually using and where they are. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.